Welcome to the Banega Swast India podcast. Our focus this season is one health, one planet, one future. Our aim is health for all and leaving no one behind because only a swast bharat is a sampann bharat. I'm Ambika Singh Kama. This month, February, is the month of love, and our theme this month is love that makes us human. Not just romance, attraction and affection. but empathy care inclusion humanity that treats each one as an equal this is the love that does not see disabled people as persons dependent on society that does not treat them as objects of pity charity or medical treatment it is a love that encourages and empowers people with disabilities today we have with us mother daughter duo dr shama chona and tamanna chona Thank you so much for joining us today, ma'am. Uh, Dr. Chona, I would like to start with you first. You're the only school educator in our country who has been bestowed with both, in fact, the Padma Shri 1999 and even the Padma Bhushan in 2008. But above all, you're a mother and a woman. How was it to raise a child with special needs? And since we're talking about love, what role did love really play in bringing up uh, Tamanna? You know, as a teacher, I once asked the children. what are the seven wonders of the world so different children gave me different answers one said the canyon grand canyon another said the great wall of china another one said the taj mahal but there was another little girl who was sitting in a corner and writing something i said beta why don't you tell so i said ma'am i have so many what should i tell but you know for me to feel to touch to hear to taste to see to love and finally ma'am i think the most most the greatest wonder of the world is to love so and i learned so much from her and if i had reached anywhere it's out of love of the manna for the world for me and my love for all the kids who are special on earth because they have love which is totally totally um non it's not at all complicated it is not at all um, uh, you know it's so pure and this purity of love gets them going actually like you rightly said you know love keeps us going and love that is unconditional like you were saying yes samana you know you have defied all odds you know born with cerebral palsy you couldn't walk yeah. till 10 years of age and then today you're dancing you run marathons you're a nursery teacher in a very reputed school in the capital how did yeah. you achieve so much i mean and how what role did your family play in uh, what you are today with so many accomplishments uh, actually my it's all thanks to my parents it's all thanks to my uh, family uh, members who helped me i've come a long way i'm learning dancing online i'm learning uh, spanish i'm um basically i'm uh, i'm uh, 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 learning a uh, block printing also in the school in uh, tamana school uh, yes and and i'm on the uh, board of the school of the uh, tamana so uh, station school and the school is named uh, after me only hmm. and uh, uh, basically it's like uh, uh, uh i was born with uh, cerebral palsy delayed milestones i had uh, uh floppy limbs my head was uh, uh i couldn't uh, uh, hold my head high i, I couldn't uh, i couldn't walk i couldn't talk now And today you've achieved so much yeah 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 no i mean you're really an inspiration and you've also authored a book in which we are going to be talking about you know during this conversation uh, dr chana you've been a principal for nearly two decades you've closely worked with students in fact you've changed the mindset of education you know when we talk about <coughs> education and inclusion of the disabled ma'am tell us how important do you think it is to inculcate sensitivity and the idea of inclusion from a young age actually uh... it's so important that we expose the young ones the sm- younger generation to kids with a difference and this is another kind of division where people who are a little different are not recognized in regular schools 
they haven't got the facilities there isn't that understanding among the children their parents or the teachers how to create an inclusive classroom mm. so my first student even before the mana joined i had a blind student you know and when he would go around my society the society of dps was a little wary that how will a blind child but okay. 50 more followed they were all blind and they were such a great uh you know um what should i say group of kids that every kid wanted to be their friend they wanted to hold their hand they wanted to reach them to the bus they wanted to help them get down from the bus hand to the parent it's an opportunity if yes. you don't if you just shut them up in the cupboard and under the bed then who is going to know who's who so i yes. think the first most important thing with the government of india is also started now uh is also in the nep is uh in you know inclusion and we have to include all minds into a classroom and create that atmosphere where there is love love and love this is the season of love and i think yours is a wonderful program where saying love is unconditional and love is what tamanna is all about you've essayed many roles you've recently written a book tell yeah. us about the book and how do you i mean how did you really think about writing a book actually uh, the person behind this her name is aditi aditi so aditi uh, once uh, told me come on tamanna let's uh, write a book mm-hmm. and and i and uh with the guiding like uh with the guiding light on my head uh she she uh she to uh she used to come to school uh um every day uh to uh uh tamanna then then uh, uh she used to take out a uh, uh, printouts to take out, uh, she used to tell me uh that uh, tamanna uh, is this uh is this a photo is this photo okay or no yeah is this page okay for the book or no then then we then we uh, uh, uh usually <clears throat> usually i like usually i um, usually i write uh, blogs i yes. uh, uh i uh, usually i write my uh, day to day thoughts your journey and, yeah. yeah no 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 uh blog yes so so that uh, that really uh, inspired me yes and then and then uh basically uh, uh uh this went to the uh publisher the book so so uh, we gave it to uh, different schools uh uh to uh um, lotus valley to uh dps uh, gurgaon everybody and and my book is a talk of <coughs> is a talk of the town now and and you'll be so uh, surprised to know that that it's all thanks to yaditi and my mom who have helped me to uh write this book absolutely i think like how aditi inspired you i mean of course like you know you're t- telling about your mom but your mom must be and your parents your family you were telling me your brother his children are so supportive your sister in law so you know i think it's amazing that you know the kind of support which you've got and of course it's a proud moment for the family dr jana if i can ask you you know you did talk about the inclusion of course love is the most important we we've seen how your love for tamanna has raised her to be a, such a uh, you know individual who is is i mean who's doing extremely well and you know i mean she's encouraging so many people but tell me how important uh, is school environment and infrastructure uh, you know i mean how can it be made more f- uh, disable friendly in fact back in the 90s you had uh, written a letter to the queen of england uh, you know to secure land for the special school in basant bihar so take us through your journey and how far do you think we've come because you've been working on this uh, you know For, for on this for years now for decades in fact yeah so let me just begin that my life begins and ends with tamanna uh, my daughter 
Uh, I would not have got all the awards in the world, not that they mattered mm -hmm. to me, but for her, I was a different person. But this childbirth was so special. And my little son then was two years and nine months when Tamanna come and came into her life. Even he became a part of our journey. And at the year, age of 2.9, he would look after her. Believe you me, all my students in DPS were actually babysitting Tamanna <coughs> while I was teaching. It was a sight to see. Love is something which is actually so precious. It's not at all contaminated. If it is for no uh, sort of, uh, uh, if you're not wanting to get anything out of it, but it just happens. So the purity that I received from Tamanna because she was not judgmental. And she had a smile. And I think smile is the first sign of love. And when she smiled, I think it seemed like she's smiling love. And as we went on into the journey of DPS, where I was there for nearly, nearly uh, over 35 years, I realized that every child that passed out of my hand was a friend of the mana. And then when she became a teacher there, she's been there for 20 years now. Can you imagine she's 52 now? So yeah. when though all those kids who passed out from her in the nursery are now studying or working in big companies, big firms, and the first word that comes to me on my Facebook or on my whenever they contact me, how is the manna? So the yeah. manna has become like a, a you know figure which proves that nothing matters. All that matters is love. And if and you are ready, yeah. yeah. No, in yeah. fact, like you said about love and mom, even if I ask you about infrastructure, because you really brought about a change, not only yeah. the mindsets. How can um, we make it more disabled friendly? Yeah. So I think we are very disappointed uh, with the, you know, uh, the movement needs to become faster and programs like yours will make it happen. There is very little that is available uh, you know, for people to understand. You know, I started a program where I wanted to send these children to the, uh, you know, homes of regular children. The children were accepting, the students of DPS were accepting our kids, but the parents were not. The schools still don't have ramps. They don't have lifts. They don't have special teachers. Now imagine a class which is inclusive, has a blind, a deaf, a child who cannot speak, a child who is, um, you know, uh, autistic or Down syndrome, and the teacher is not trained. So slowly now in the B.A. course, now which is a four-year course, they are bringing in, um, you know, disability understanding and inclusion, um, you know, requirements for the teachers to understand how yeah. to accommodate these children socially, emotionally, physically, into the classroom. The physical structure is really, really important. Yeah. In fact, so I mean, I mean, I'm glad to hear that, you know, of course, a lot more needs to be done, but at least we've started thinking about it. And obviously, it is need of the hour. It's critical. Um, also, before I asked Tamanna about the school, uh, you know, obviously, she's the heart and soul behind Tamanna. I was reading about that. You know, the, the NGO Tamanna, you know, it works towards the welfare and rehabilitation of specially able ki kids. <coughs> Dr. Chona, Tell us, uh, you know, how much have we changed as a society? You've been working, I mean, you founded this NGO way back in 1984. So again, you know, what, I mean, also tell us what Tamanna NGO does and why is it important to leave no one behind? You know, 1984, we were registered and I wrote a letter to the Queen of England and everybody said, you're mad. Then I was just a teacher. Uh, asking her to come and inaugurate our second session, our first uh, building. We didn't even have land. Mm -hmm. When we got the land, the you know residents of Asant Bihar took us to the court and they said, how can you have a school for mad people? There was no Disability Act. There was an act which did not uh, specify disability. It was an act for the mad people. Mm -hmm. So L.M. Singhvi stood for us and finally we got the land. And can you imagine Lady Diana came to inaugurate our school? Then we were in huts. We had no money for the building. So the moment everybody heard that Lady Diana is coming, even the minister.
the, and everybody from the you know yeah. departments of the different relevant education special education and this was the first special school in in delhi and maybe some maybe some part of india and then from there the journey began now there are so many special schools and tamanna itself is running seven courses for uh, we have a training center for teachers getting them ready to yeah. teach in regular schools it's important for every school to have a special teacher but one teacher is not enough every teacher has to be a special teacher every school has to have now coming back to tamanna i feel a little guilty talking about my own organization but the fact still remains that we have a long way to go uh, we are um, uh, educating not only the disabled but we are also educating the very poor disabled for which we need funding the funding is a very huge problem and i think the uh, each time we do a fashion show every year which is a fundraiser and in the british high commission we do one uh, very very big um, you know christmas carnival mm-hmm. where we raise funds for the poor children and for the most latest mm-hmm. facilities mm-hmm. all of this is becoming um, known to the people of delhi india it's covered in the uh, newspaper everything but i fully agree with you that we need we have a long way to go i can't but help congratulating you ambika for having thought of love and disability which is the best best what should i say uh, togetherness because where there is love Yeah. there is no disability there is only ability and that's so beautiful why because we be, we become enabled yeah, i think i think key Disab- here is about them the disability is not with them disability is in our minds yeah and the moment we start thinking better of them yeah with love they will be respected and there will be greater harmony joy peace and atmosphere on earth in fact it was of course your love your determination you know your dedication and as a family as a mother where, where you know where tamanna couldn't walk in today look what she's accomplished tamanna you know you of course are the heart and soul behind uh, tamanna the school tell us yeah. you inspire so many people right i mean yeah. you've done so much how do you like at, at the school at tamanna school how do you uplift the children's moods there how do you play with them how do you deal with the children in your school actually uh, uh when i go to school i get um uh, the the children uh, hug me they want they want to uh, uh play with me come uh, come uh, tamanna uh, didi let's play so yes. so so i usually i uh, uh play with them i teach them and mm. i i tell them come on you not uh, alone uh uh i'm with you actually when i uh, when i meet the uh, <coughs> children also they tell me uh tamana didi you have come oh my god how wonderful is this so i tell them come on uh, uh let me uh, drop you to my to your uh, class so i so i tell them basically i uh, i teach them uh, that that uh, love is a uh, is very uh, infectious also oh. because because it's a uh, valentines day and and yes. uh, two people two people uh, 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 who stayed with us in uh, when my mom was the principal of uh, dps or kipurup uh it is she and my uh, uh uh and my uh uh best friend her name is uh, uh, sona so she uh has uh, taught me uh, many things also and mm-hmm. i and i also uh i also thank tara for organizing this interview and my two nieces um uh prathna and kashvi have inspired me to what 
what I am uh, today, and my brother and his wife. And and when I go to school, all the teachers uh, come running. They tell me, uh, uh, Tamanna, come, let's talk. Come, Tamanna, let's do something. Or be. So they all they all want to spend time with you. I mean, like clearly that, and like you said, you know, love is infectious, right, ma'am? Like the way she's expressed it so beautifully. I mean, she summed it up really well. I think it's like the ripple effect. It's beautifully summed up. Thank you, Tamanna. Thank you, uh, Dr. Chona, for actually sharing all this with us. I mean, of course, uh, what Tamanna has said is really, you know, I think put everything yep. that we're trying to say. And of course, yes. ma'am, you've summed it up really well. And and uh, Ambika, I want to uh, tell you one thing. Sure. Uh, let this Valentine's Day be a special day for 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 the for the family my mom dad uh, everybody thank you thank you for that message and and uh, and for you also thank you thank you and for each one of us i think i mean i think we, we can just spread so much love around us that's it on the banega swastindya podcast this week if you have any comments queries or suggestions on the topic we discussed today or issues you would like us to cover in future do write to us on bsi podcast at the rate ndtv.com remember bsi stands for banega swast india you can also connect with us on banega swast india handles on facebook twitter and instagram and continue the conversation through the week till next week this is ambika singh kama signing off stay healthy and stay safe